We're heading for the desert in the burning, scorching sun. Our guide will be no other than the desert rat pop gun. We'll see all nature's wonders and hear coyotes groan. And now here's Beanie and Cecil in a Bob Clampett cartoon. Dragon Train. Hello, doggies. This is old Pop Gun, Sage of the Sagebrush, and your Dragon Train boss, Dragons Ho! <laughs> hey, nobody knows the West better than old Pop Gun. No siree. If you never hear to the Badlands, let me tell you, they're the worst. Why, sometimes you can ride for miles with nothing between you and the horizon, but the bleached white bones of some poor old prospector. Makes you kind of wonder how come he meant such a terrible end. Maybe froze. Might have been attacked by wild engines. Or is this sun-bleached skeleton the result of the desert's never-ending heat, where there ain't no water? Uh, no, he just overdid that god dang newfangled low-calorie diet. <laughs> you know, the clown prince of the wasteland is a roadrunner. He's one of the wonders of the desert. This is one bird that would rather run than fly. See, maybe with the magic of slow-motion camera, we can learn the secret of his wonderful footwork. I fall down, go boom. The greatest danger of the ever-loving, living desert ain't its wildlife, it's the loco weed. Man, it's the wildest. Why, just one bite of that stuff is deadly. You watch it there, Mr. Longhorn. That weed will drive you plumb loco. Don't be ridiculous. I've been partaking of this particular vegetation for low these many years, and it hasn't affected me in any manner. She <laughs> put See, it obviously doesn't affect me a bit. Good day. And so the dragon train keeps rolling across the country where life itself is a gamble. That's the Nevada Territory. Natural habitat of the rattler. Why, they can really put a bite on you. Snake eyes, see what I mean? Which reminds me, you ever hear of a Las Vegas gopher? Well, that's a little fella responsible for the expression, gopher broke. <laughs> <laughs> it's mighty strange, but right here in the middle of a clonjon ocean of sand, Mother Nature chose to breed one of her best swimmers, the lavender leaping lizard. Oh, the little vomit actually swims under the sand. Gosh, look at him go. And there goes another one. And another. <laughs> Help! Save me! Help! Help! Yay! You called? It better not be collect! Partners, let me remind you. The wide open spaces is wide open to all kinds of tyrants. None of them more terrible than the Diamondback Rattler. But murderous as a Diamondback is, one little wasteland warrior stands right up to him. The Toulouse Mongoose. Easy now, easy. Let's slow this desert Donnybrook down for a close-up. <laughs> Say, little mongoose, ain't that a dangerous business? It's a living. Yes, sir. This is a devil's dust bowl, all right. In fact, no living thing could long survive, leastwise without one of nature's safety valves, called a geyser. Of course, there's always a little wise geyser. <laughs> ah, your sister wears army shoes. Yep, 
Mother Nature's family trees takes roots in strange places, like here, the petrified forest. Them trees is really petrified. <laughs> petrified, my foot. We're panic-stricken. <laughs> I relax, fellas. It's only a prairie dog. <laughs> <sighs> Now then, over to the other side of the mountains is the world's oldest graveyard, Dinosaur Canyon. Yes, sir. Millions of years ago, countless prehistoric monsters lived and died here. In fact, one of the unanswered riddles of the ages is what killed them off. Some say it were a plague, or a glacier, or maybe an earthquake. Don't you believe it? Listen, Sonny, tell that jackass in the first part of the cartoon we had them gull dang newfangled low-calorie diets back in our days, too. See? And we're feeling mighty low. <laughs> well, doggies, they got to be pushing on now. <laughs> but remember... There's always a seat for you on old Pop Gun's Dragon Train. Yes, sir. What's that? Well, yeah, yeah, you hear it right. I said Dragon Train. You see what I mean? <laughs> Get up, you little old scaly wag. Yeah! <laughs>